Coney Island, world famous beach resort, amusement center, and neighborhood located in South Brooklyn, New York, along the Atlantic Ocean. Coney Island boasts a range of world class attractions, captivating millions of visitors on the hottest summer days. Visitors to Coney Island won't want to miss the New York Aquarium. Coney Island Amusement Park. Two miles of beautiful wooden seaside boardwalk. And a mountain range of decayed high-rise housing projects. Storing New York's most unwanted human beings. Bringing urban renewal to new heights. Don't forget your cotton candy. Coney Island was once a true island, but after the Civil War, the creek that once separated the island from the mainland was filled in illegally with neighborhood trash, making the area both a peninsula and a dumping ground ever since. Nostalgia remains for Coney Island's heyday, toothless carny collars beckoning unsuspecting children to empty their pockets and try their luck at rigged festival games. Rickety Rides, which test the strength of your ability to put the fear of death out of your mind. And Carnival Sideshows, populated by mermaids, bearded women, and snake swallowers. Once known as Sodom by the Sea, Coney Island hosts a thriving AIDS epidemic as prostitution and dirty needle use flourish in their natural habitat. Hey you! Yes you! Did you just score some smack? Naughty, naughty, Junkie Jeff. When Junkie Jeff can't hook up with dealer Dave, the neighborhood paper boy, he comes here. This is the Coney Island Methadone Clinic. Junkie Jeff knows that the ladies and gentlemen here will provide him with enough replacement medication to get him through the day without having to go a la Canona. All he has to do is sign a form and tell them that he really means it this time. But I've got a good feeling Junkie Jeff won't need to pay these nice men and women a visit today. Let's go see how he's doing. Junkie Jeff has just gotten high. He is floating and feeling a characteristic sense of euphoria. Junkie Jeff is not a jolly pop and this is no chicken shit habit. Junkie Jeff has a monkey on his back, what the Coney Island kids nowadays like to call a King Kong habit. Junkie Jeff has become one of the poison people, a pariah who likes to chase the tiger. Here, we notice that Junkie Jeff has what is commonly referred to as a belly habit, meaning that he often feels cramps and gets sick to his stomach. We can see from this reaction that Junkie Jeff has made a bad score. He has gotten some low-grade flea powder or lemonade, as opposed to high-grade Mortal Kombat or China White. Poor Junkie Jeff. Let's go in for a closer look. Here, we see Junkie Jeff's veins. They've collapsed. Junkie Jeff has a hard time breathing. He has lung complications related to his need for reindeer dust. Skag has caused his breathing patterns to become labored and shallow. His lips have turned blue. Junkie Jeff needed a fix so badly that he has forgotten the cardinal rule. One must sample the product slowly to be sure it's the real deal. But this is certainly cut deck, and Junkie Jeff might not survive. Junkie Jeff makes me long for my days as a Coney Island crack whore getting gangbanged and not caring whether or not I've eaten in a week, just as long as I can find a John who would pay me five bucks so that he can bend me over a boardwalk bench and Junkie Jeff, could you sell me a fiver for old time's sake? Hello, Junkie Jeff? Oh well, that's too bad. The next time you're in the Big Apple, don't forget to visit beautiful nostalgic Coney Island, home of the hot dog the white knuckle carny ride, and the world's most open horse market. 
If you do visit Coney Island, look me up. We'll party. Did you see where I put that spoon?